Hey, Gemini, thank you for being here with me. This is Pretty Intuitive, back with another one. Let's dive into your love life and let's see what is coming to you in love. Please keep an open mind as these readings are general. Let's get into it, Gem. How are you guys doing? What is coming to Gemini in love, please? What do we have for Gemini in love? Gemini, it says to let your friends help you, okay? You have soulmate. Okay, you got some flirting action going on here. Nothing wrong with that. <laughs> yes, this is your soulmate is what it says. So I'm getting some of you may be dealing with a fixed sign. Okay, a Taurus, a Leo, a Scorpio, an Aquarius. What's coming to Gemini and love? Gemini, you have the Empress. That's beautiful. Yeah, okay, so <laughs> Aquarius pulled a similar energy. You have the Ten of Cups. Uh, you know, I always say this, guys. Aquarius and Gemini readings are always right on point. What's coming to Gemini and love? Together, you have the uh, Six of Wands. Wow. I'm getting some of you, Gemini. Um, could be having a higher level of commitment proposal coming towards you, like an engagement. This could be renewing vows. Okay, but the Empress instead of Cups, the Six of Wands is good energy because it means that um, someone is putting you in their future. They're looking at you as their future spouse. Okay, that's if you guys are not already married or engaged or something like that. Okay, I like that a lot for you, Gemini. Uh, we do have Taurus, Libra energy here. The Ten of Cups, I mean, sorry, the Ten of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups. How often does that happen? So someone has made up their mind about you here, Jem. <laughs> and I feel like this person is so sure that they want you in their life long term, Jem. You have the Nine of Cups. It feels like this person is, I'm not going to say they're nothing without you, but it's like without you, life just doesn't make sense. Um, and it feels like this person wants to spend their life with you, Gemini. They're serious about that. They are absolutely serious about that. Um, this person may want to start discussing starting a family, having kids, you know, buying a home together. Like I said, start talking about getting engaged, getting married. Yeah, this person is dead serious about you, Gem. <laughs> Ooh. So this person has plans for you and them. Like they want to get married. They, they want you for the rest of their life. This is nice. Because before the Ten of Cups, you have the Nine of Cups. So the, uh, the Nine of Cups would suggest like, okay, I'm, I'm happy and I'm content by myself. But, you know, I'm a movement by myself. But I'm a force when me and Gemini together. I'm good all by myself. But the Gemini make me better. You make me better. I just heard that song by Fabulous, okay? Mm -hmm. This person feels like you make them better. And that they can't really necessarily see themselves without you, Gem. No, seriously, they want to start discussing um, future plans with you. Okay? You know, and you have the Emperor. Literally, Gemini pulled the same, uh, sorry, Aquarius pulled the same, you know, thing. Emperor, Empress. And judgment at the bottom of the deck means this person has made up their mind. If you're connecting with someone who's married... Now, I would say that person is going to continue to stay married to that person, okay? This may not be your reading. But I'm channeling um, a Gemini who has definitely met their soulmate or will be meeting their soulmate, okay? Their twin flame, however you want to go about it. But there is a um, there is a spiritual connection with you and this person. That's not to be denied. And when you have two tens like that, that's the world. That's completion. That's fulfillment. You know, it's like you get it gets no more complete and fulfilled and happy than that. So it's like, this is the person that you can have a happy domestic life with. You know, you could be very fulfilled with emotionally and on a financial level as well. You know, on a practical level, not just, you know, Id idly and stuff like that. Okay. This is, this is the person that you will marry. Okay. They want to marry you. That is their plan. That's what they're thinking about.
And with the Eight of Pentacles and the Star, I feel like this is someone who, this is saying that you guys are working towards that, point blank period. You guys are working towards that, okay? And again, for existing relationships, it's just going to continue to, I see your relationship, your marriage or whatever getting better. Much, much, much better. I'm talking about a billion times better. You have trust. Your partner has proved themselves worthy of your trust. Okay, what else do we have for Gemini? Uh, fidelity. Um, and then you also have the one, you found your soulmate. So the person involved, Gemini, is le soulmate, honey. Le soulmate. <laughs> le twin flame, however you want to uh, refer to it. But this is your boo thing. <laughs> mm -hmm. I mean, really don't need to clarify all these cards. But I mean, I'm getting for some of you, this freak may have let you down in the past. They may have. Okay, you guys have went through your challenges or whatever the case may be. But the, dis the disappointment, that's something of the past. Okay, you have the world here. And the five of cups. And for my singles, if this is someone you don't think you know yet, because you may not, then just know the next person you meet that you get with, this is going to be um, someone that you end up marrying, okay? I see daddy, mommy energy coming on in here, okay? And you can kiss the hurt, the pain, you know, the games or whatever that is, and bye-bye, okay, Gemini, because, you know, it's that's no longer going to be the case. I feel like you're definitely attracting a higher level of a soulmate, a commitment, into your life to where this is someone that you can be happy with until death do you part, honey. Okay, the King of Wands for the star tells me that there is action, there's intention, there is drive, you know, there is hunger, you know, there's thirst for, you know, this future between you and them to happen. Um, that's what they really want at the end of the day, so... I would say definitely um, listen to your intuition, Gemini. Because Spirit is trying to tell you, like, you know, this person, they mean well. They have good intentions. The star is always good. Because it means that this situation is destined. It was written in the stars for you and this person to meet, to be together. Okay. I'm also hearing this is no ordinary love at all. This is not an ordinary love, uh, Gemini. This person right here. You are meant to be with them. This is no ordinary love, honey. Point blank, period. <laughs> I know some people come and be like, oh, I like when you say point blank, period. Point blank, period. Okay. What else do we have for Gemini angels? Okay, you have unfinished business. For some of you, this, you know, has to do with unfinished business, okay? All right. Anxiety, there's no need to have anxiety, Gemini. Okay, this freak is not going to leave you disappointed. This is a good freak, honey. Yeah, some of you, you know, you've been disappointed and heartbroken in the past. Um, or maybe in the past, you know, the situation was. But the we like to see the world because the world talks about ending a cycle, starting a complete one. And this cycle, this time around, it looks pretty good. Okay. Unexpected. And you have dates. So you will start to date someone very soon. Um, courting, dating, anniversary, meetup. You have family. This is someone that you probably already have a family with or you will have a family with, okay? So with let your friends help you, that could be saying for those of you who are expecting to receive some kind of proposal because I can definitely see a marriage being offered or an engagement, feel free to ask your friends, okay? But at the end of the day, you know, just, you know, oh, and also ask the cards, honey. <laughs> ask the cards. The cards are going to tell you the right thing as well. Yeah, because I do feel like at times you get apprehensive, Gemini. You're wondering if you can trust this situation, trust this freak. But, you know, I feel like you definitely can, Gemini, this time around. Now, if you don't want to, that's that's totally up to you. Trust the process because it is meant to be with you and this person. 
okay? This is the person that you're fully in alignment with. <laughs> this is the person that makes your heart go bada boom, bada boom, bada boom, boom, boom. Okay, honey. All right. So signs wise, again, I do get Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius. I get um, Libra. We have Aries and Leo. Okay. However, you know. And again, if you don't see the sign or I didn't name your, the sign that you're dealing with, don't feel discouraged. That is just the strongest uh, cards that are showing up. The strongest signs that are showing up. Gemini. Two of Wands. Okay. So this person is real desperate to make this future happen between you and them. This is not a joke. It's not a game. It's not a gimmick. Um, for some of you I'm getting, you may think this is too good to be true or something like that. It is not. It is not, Gemini. It is not too good to be true, honey. Okay? This person is very, very serious about you and their life, about spending their life with you. You know, you have two tens here, two, ten of pentacles and a ten of cups. Come on now. What else do you need to see? The empress, the emperor, those two are literally peanut butter and jelly, meant to be together. The star is a relationship that has spiritual elements to it. No ordinary love, honey. If you don't know that song by today, go ahead and look it up. Okay? Okay. So thank you so much, Gemini, for being here with me. I hope this reading helped you, and I will talk to you guys soon.